So, uh, good afternoon. So, it is a great honor to succeed Hitoshi as a second director of this institute. So, I have known Hitoshi, who is walking toward the backwards right now, for more than 30 years. Uh, the first when she was a grad student uh, in Tokyo in the 80s. And then when we were both faculty member at UC Berkeley, for the last 11 years, I have been fortunate enough to have worked with him again at Discovery IPMU and watched his leadership closely. Thanks to Hitoshi and the effort of many others, the Institute has grown and flourished beyond my wildest imagination. Now, Hitoshi, you shouldn't walk out right now because I have brought two bottles of champagne for you. <laughs> so, uh, so over the last 11 years, the Cabri IPMU has produced high impact discoveries in mathematics, physics, and astronomy, and has become one of the most attractive research destinations internationally. We have succeeded in training and mentoring students and young scientists, and many of them have landed distinguished academic positions at leading university and research institutes all over the world. We have introduced new and more effective administrative practices, and our initiative have transformed university, are transforming university, in fact, in Japan. Nevertheless, I was still pleasantly surprised when the Kabri IPMU was chosen for the five-year extension which started last year. Though there are many reasons I personally can think of why we should have been selected, it should not escape anybody's attention here that research we do here is most useless among those of the five WPI centers. <laughs> it is significant that the Japanese government recognized the importance of the basic research we do here and care about as something they should continue to promote. Supporting basic science is a good investment in the long run, and there have been many testimonies to support the fact that curiosity-driven research has produced enormous dividends to humanity. In 1939, Abraham Flexner, the founding director of the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, wrote in his essay that most of the really great discoveries which have had ultimately proven to be beneficial to the mankind have been made by men and women who are driven not by desire to be useful, but merely, but merely the desire to satisfy their curiosity. More recently, Jean-Louis Chameau, the former president of Caltech, and this one I heard in person, said, while we cannot predetermine where scientific research will lead, we believe that true innovation comes when people can dream with freedom and focus. I believe that this philosophy of encouraging curiosity, as well as the pursuit of what may appear useless knowledge, remains an advantage of the country that needs to be protected and nurtured. I found this impressive that Chamo, who is actually a civil engineer specialized in building roads and bridges, thought that pursuit of useless knowledge is of national interest. The Cabri IPMU is supported by three partners, the University of Tokyo, the Cabri Foundation, and the Japanese government. And we are grateful to Dr. Christopher Martin of the Cabri Foundation for being with us today. In this context, I believe the most important thing for us to do is to continue to demonstrate that we are worthy of their support by producing groundbreaking discoveries, by training and mentoring young scientists to become future leaders, and by inspiring systems of reform within the University of Tokyo and by spreading them to other universities in Japan. And my job as a director will be to enable all of you here to perform at the highest level by supporting your research initiative and by providing an ideal environment for your research. Usefulness of useless research may be obvious to us here, but the idea does not come naturally to many outside of this building. We should not take their support for granted. We need to earn it. On my part, I will take every opportunity to explain the importance of what we do here and co to communicate our achievements effectively to our partner and to the general public. Four years ago, Peter Goddard, the former director of the Institute for Advanced Study, visited here, and Hitoshi 
and I had a round table discussion with him. You can read the transcript of our conversation on the Kabri IPM in your news. There are two things that Peter told me at the time which have stayed with me. One is that a truly academic institution should stay focused within its defined mission. The Kabri IPMU has been successful and it is well supported both in terms of funding and of human resources. We have become permanent institutions and our future is secure. We have many significant research achievements and we have earned high reputation. This means that many attractive opportunities are coming to us and there are many good things we could do with them. But there are only a limited number of things we can do. Rather than trying to do every seemingly good thing that could be done, we should carefully choose the research direction we are excited about and believe in, do them really well, identifying the most effectively way to use our resources, taking calculated risk, and aiming to become the best in what we do. The choices we make should be guided by our mission. In fact, I believe that the genius of the Kabri IPMU is in its mission, which is to solve the most fundamental question about the universe. The universe is big, its Hubble radius is 10 to the 60 in Planck units, and it can accommodate all of us. There are many different ways that we can study it from mathematics, from physics, and from astronomy, and contribute to advancement of our knowledge in astronomy, in physics, and in mathematics. My own research has also been influenced by this mission. I am a string theorist, but my association to the Kabri IPMU has made me acutely aware that it is important to ask why and how my research is relevant to questions about the universe. This has impacted the direction of my research positively, I hope. So while I have your attention, I have a little advancement to make. As Hitoshi said, I just posted three new papers on the archive this morning. And uh, the two of the paper uh, which I have worked over the last three years, uh, I gave theoretical proof of several conjecture about symmetry of low energy effective theory of consistent quantum gravity. For example, such a theory cannot have a, uh, cannot, for example, such a theory cannot have global symmetry, and therefore the proton must decay. This should give an additional incentive for hyper Kamiokande. The University of Tokyo just announced last month that hyper Kamiokande construction will commerce in April 2020, and Kabri IPMU is a partner. In the third paper, I gave more theoretical evidence for the so-called Dojita conjecture, which I proposed earlier this summer. It highlights the importance of understanding the equation of states of the dark energy. We can measure it by our two major projects, hyper Schull prime cam and TFS, and perhaps falsify what I said in my paper. None of these papers would have been written without inspiration and support from the Kabri IPMU. When I was a high school student, uh, I read a book entitled The Science and the Method, written by Henri Poincaré. And it had had big impact on me. Toward the end of this book, Poincaré asked himself, why do some research directions give large returns as others don't, other don't? He wanted to devote himself to research directions that give large return. Obviously, or almost all scientists want to do that. And so it's an important question. And the question, however, is how to identify such a research direction. So you actually he give an answer to that question in the book. His conclusion was that the best research directions are the ones that inspire and influence progress in broader area of science. Poincaré wrote, as these sciences developed, we have recognized more clearly the link which unites them, the map of universal science. He compares such science as a nodal point of the Godhart Pass in Switzerland, from which water flows and feeds, feeds four different basins in Switzerland. In the Google parlance, uh, it is a science with high page rank that gives large returns. At the Kabri IPMU, we are ideally positioned to practice what Poincaré preached. Our common goal to solve a fundamental question about the universe helps us place our work in the big picture. The question about the universe naturally motivates mathematicians, 
physicist and astronomer to work together and to recognize the link, the map of the universal science. Our mission is what unites us here. I would foster and enhance the environment where such collaboration thrives. Another point Peter Goddard made at our round table discussion was that one should have an idea about time scale to for an in academic institution. Hitoshi started IPMU with his grand vision and it has worked extremely well over the last 11 years. I do not see any reason we should change this basic model at this point. But we should not stay content. Some of the projects we started 11 years ago have matured and we should build upon their successes to capture new opportunities. This year, the Kabri IPMU has become a permanent entity within the University of Tokyo. And we have a number of tenure facu tenured faculty positions. And part of our fund is coming from line items of the government budget, which are more secure. We have earned high reputation and many talented scientists want to come here to work with us. This means that there are things we can do that we had not been able to do before. So it's a good time for us to reflect upon the progress we have made over the past 11 years and plan for the future by making the most of our resources and opportunities available to us. I believe the science at the Cabri IPMU should be driven by people. This is very different from 11 years ago when IPMU started from nothing. No faculty member, no building. Now the most important asset we have are the people, and by that I mean you. Since the beginning of the last month, I have met more than 25 scientific and administrative staff members at the Cabri IPMU to listen to their dreams, to learn new opportunities, and to find out how we can support them. I will continue to do so in coming months. I would also call upon some of you to work together to construct a long-term strategic plan for the next 10 years of the Kabri IPMU. Finally, I'd like to take this opportunity to affirm our commitment to provide an inclusive and supportive environment to the diverse group of people in our community. To realize our mission to solve the most fundamental questions about our universe, it is essential that all of us treat each other with respect, maintain our professional working environment free of harassment, challenge our pre preconceptions, and educate ourselves on our own biases so that everybody can bring out the best in themselves. In this intellectual environment, audacious ideas are encouraged and shaped by rigorous arguments from diverse perspectives, and new avenues of research are explored and realized with freedom and focus. So together, we will boldly go where no one has gone before. Welcome to our 12th year at the Calvary IPMU. I look forward to working with you and serving this institute as your new director. Thank you. <laughs>